Hello everyone, welcome to Digi Bytes. I am Vapo Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about an interesting use case of Alteryx, where we will try to understand that how data can be concatenated in Alteryx both at the row level or at the column level. Then why wait? Let's start. Now you could see the familiar screen of Alteryx. Let's drag our input data tool here and select the file. I will drag here this employee.csv file and uh, run it. And uh, make uh, the column titles more proper. First name, last name, company, address, city, country, state, zip code, phone one, phone two, email ID, website, salary. So run it. I can see all the columns in a correct format now. Next, what uh, we want to achieve here is we want to concatenate address, city and state into one uh, field and also the zip code. So it will be a complete address together separated by a comma. So how we can achieve that in the Alteryx? So let's create a new field with the help of formula tool. So we name it as complete address. And what we need is first of all, we will take address. Then we want to separate it by comma. And as well as space, then next would be city again separated by comma as well as space then again we will take the third field which is state and again, separate by comma and space. And last but not the least, zip code. So this is our complete address that we are looking for. And let me add the browse tool as well so that we can completely see the data. And now run it. If you see here, we have the complete address here. We have the address, then city, then state, and the zip code. So all the data of the address has been combined here, or we can say concatenated here at the column level. So this is how we can concatenate data in Alteryx based on certain uh, level of configurations. So if you want that uh, you only want uh, ORL, the first three letters of the country, then you can use the trim left, trim right functions. So based on your requirement, you can further use inbuilt formulas of the Alteryx to uh, combine or concatenate your data. But this is the higher level where you can do the concatenation and with the help of certain formulas, this concatenation can be further enhanced uh, based on your requirement. Now, suppose we want to see all the zip codes in one row separated by semicolons uh, with respect to different states. So let's get here the aggregation tool 
or the summarize tool where we can do all the aggregation so what we will do is based on sit state we will group by our data and then what we will do is we want all the zip codes so again we will be grouping by data on the basis of zip codes but this time what we will do is we will not do just simple group by we will concatenate this data so now when we concatenate uh, we do not want to rename we remain it as zip code only and we want to separate our values by semicolon so if i now run it and see so you can see all the different zip codes have been separated by semicolons and they have came together here so this is how we can concatenate the row level data in all tricks so this is one of the way where we can concatenate values together from different sets of rows and uh, can get them combined as per our requirement there may be different ways so if you can see here we have concatenated we can like do other level of configurations here from utilizing this uh, way of combining data together also what we can do is let's suppose uh, we have in the preparation tool a multi row formula tool so let's say we grab here a multi row formula tool and now what we want to do is we want to combine the data like suppose if la is in first and mi is in second so we, we want to see the output as la plus mi in the next row we want to see mi plus nj so we want to see the combined data or the combined state from the next particular state or the uh, state from the next next particular row so how we can do this so we will create a new field let's name it as a combined next state and it is of v string type and we will increase size to let's say 40 and what we will do is we will drag the row the current row of the state then use the plus sign the same way we concatenated uh, the column fields so now the next row row plus one so again we need the state field so now if i run it and see the output so at this level we have combined state la and mi so if you see here we have la and mi then mi and j then nj ak so this is how we can do the concatenation at different levels with different tools either on the row side or either on the column side based on our requirements if you are facing any challenge or you have some use case where you are struggling to develop it you can always mention that in comments and i will try to support you there that how you can implement the logic for the same thank you everyone for watching this video and in case if you have any question regarding this topic then please do reach out and please do subscribe our channel thank you